Uh, can you state your name and where you're from? Uh, Michael Bury, uh, Bury Farms Limited from Moundville, Alberta. How long have you farmed in Moundville, Michael? Since 1982. And what crops do you grow and how many acres of uh, crop are you farming right now? Um, we grow uh, canola, wheat, peas, and uh, that's about it. The odd barley, but I haven't grown barley for a while. So, and uh, we crop uh, this year was 3,800. 30, Think of a field where you did variable rate on that field, uh, created a zone map and executed a prescription for that field where you were really happy with the results and talk about some of those results. I had a wheat field last year uh, that uh, Andrea made the prescription and uh, it didn't call for much. We, we actually wrote some canola off the year before and uh, but there was there was a bit of stuff growing there at the time when we did it so I thought well we're gonna suck up a fair bit of N but anyway so she did the uh, prescription and I thought I've never put this amount of nitrogen on a field before ever and uh, yeah I had a 450 cart at the time and uh, I had one fill of fertilizer on a quarter section which is unbelievable and the wheat actually yielded like about 63 bushel of the acre and is number two and high protein so you know they it's very good I can't complain about that you said you're doing the whole farm variable right now, or at least all the canola? Yeah, I have since 2009. When you, so you made the decision after one year to do the whole farm? Yeah. Or not. If you could go back to 2008 when you made the decision to buy that 6450 with the zincs, would you just make the same decision today? Well, I see it's 600 acres the first year, and I figured out that uh, we probably, you know, on an average, like the, the average of the, all my other canola and the average of all my other wheat, those, the average, the, that, that half section, that 600 acres averaged about 68 bucks an acre more. And that's just one year, one time, bang. So if you go 60 times 600, that's 36,000 bucks. Even if you divide it in half, if you don't believe in any of it, you divide it in half, what's that, 18? The zincs was, an extra, when I bought it, it was an extra, I think, 12 or something. So. I guess the answer would be yes. No, but the numbers don't lie. So that's what I'm saying is that, it, you know, it, you know, that's the first year. I think you'll continue to, to execute or, or utilize variable rate fertilizer on your farm? Yeah, well, I probably. It's too bad Andrea's is leaving. <laughs> I was having so much fun. <laughs> no, uh, actually, uh, you know, guys are talking about yield. And I, to me, I think it's more than yield. I think it's uh, grade. Grade in the wheat. Uh, like uh, maturity. Uh, even. Crops are even. Very even. And, you know, you, you can't always... Can you put a price on grade? I can. I can put a price on grade. But the guys that are flat rating it, you know, if you tell them you're, you know, to me, I, I can't go there to, to try to convince anybody. I can see it myself, side by side. You can see the difference in the, the even, the maturity of the fields.